by uh, the verdict of the people. I am humbled by the mandate that the people have given. But I am also acutely aware of uh, the responsibility that this mandate places upon us. The people of Jammu and Kashmir have voted. They've made their voices heard. They uh, want part uh, of uh, the process of governance. They want to feel uh, of the decision. And it is our responsibility uh, to carry them along with us. Jammu and Kashmir, the people of Jammu and Kashmir have gone unheard since 2018. Uh, now is the time has come for us uh, to work for the benefit of the people of Jammu and Kashmir. I am also acutely aware of the fact uh, that there is a sharp divide between Kashmir and Jammu. And therefore, the incoming government will have a major responsibility of giving a sense of ownership to the people of Jammu. The government that comes in in the next few days will not be a government of the National Conference, it will not be a government of the Alliance, it will not be a government of those that voted for us, it will be a government for every single individual of Jammu and Kashmir, regardless of who they voted for or whether they voted at all. And in that, special emphasis will be placed on giving a sense of ownership and a voice within the government to those areas from where MLAs in this uh, coalition will be less in number. उनको बुलाया जाएगा तंग किया जाएगा आप मैं सिर्फ इतना ही कहूंगा कि एक आज ने हमसे बात की है हमारी बातचीत उनसे जारी है और जब वो आएंगे तो हम आपसे वो बात छुपा तो रख नहीं पाएंगे फर्स्ट एंड फॉरमोस्ट वेट फॉर द लेजिस्लेटिव सब्सिक्वेंट टू द लेजिस्लेटिव पार्टी मीटिंग दे विल ऑब्वियसली बी द अलायंस determine the leader of the, the leader of the alliance will then I assume take letters of support go to Raj Bhavan grateful for the confidence that he has reposed in me. But that decision is of the legislators to make. It is a decision of the alliance to make. Uh, I love my father dearly and I'm very grateful for the support that he has shown me yesterday. Uh, but finally, uh, the say has to be of the legislators and I'm always one to do things uh, by the rules and by the book. This is how the procedure that has to be followed and that's what will be done. But if you become the chief minister, what would the you If and but, I, I, I don't, you know me, I don't give uh, categorical answers to hypothetical questions. Whichever chief minister uh, is sworn in in the next few days, uh, obviously uh, there will be two sets of priorities. One is legislative, which will be determined by uh, the members of the legislative assembly when the session is called. But the other is government related. And I, my own uh, a, a suggestion or my own word of advice to the incoming government would be that the first business of the cabinet should be to pass a resolution asking for statehood to be restored to Jammu and Kashmir and the Chief Minister should travel to Delhi with that resolution, call on the senior leadership of the country and ask them to fulfill their promise because it is the Honourable Prime Minister, the Honourable Home Minister and others who have promised the people of Jammu and Kashmir statehood. Nowhere did they say that statehood will be restored only to a BJP government or statehood will be restored only to a government that has BJP members. They said statehood will be restored to JNK and that is what we hope will be done. Sir, are there any plans of meeting LG? 
in the country. Look, you can't form a government without meeting the LG. So whoever whoever has to stake claim will have to meet the LG. So Agar bina LG se mulaqat ki hue ya hukumat bana sakte the, to humne 6 saal pehle hi hukumat bana li hoti. Lekin wo wo surat-e-hal ban nahi sakti. To pehle jaise maine kaha legislative party ki meeting hone dijiye, alliance ki meeting hone dijiye. Uske baad jo leader tay hota hai, wo LG saab se waqt leke LG saab se mulaqat karenge. मतलब हमारा हमारा सियासी मौकूफ बदलेगा नहीं हमने कभी ये नहीं कहा कि हम 370 पे खामोश रहेंगे या 370 हमारे लिए अब मुद्दा रहा नहीं लेकिन हम लोगों को बेवकूफ बनाने के लिए भी तैयार नहीं है मैंने बार बार आप लोगों से कहा है इस इलेक्शन से पहले भी कि उन लोगों से उम्मीद करना जिन लोगों ने 370 हमसे लिया कि हम उन्हीं से वापस हासिल करेंगे वो बेवकूफी है वो लोगों को धोखा देने के बराबर है हम लोगों को धोखा देने के लिए तैयार नहीं है लेकिन इस मुद्दे को हम जिंदा रखेंगे इस पे हम बात करते रहेंगे और ये उम्मीद करेंगे कि आज नहीं तो कल मुल्क में हुकूमत बदलेगी निजाम बदल जाएगा ऐसी हुकूमत आएगी जिसके साथ हम बैठ के इस मुद्दे पे बात कर सकेंगे और कुछ ना कुछ जम्मू कश्मीर के लिए हासिल कर सकेंगे ये मतलब ये नेशनल कॉन्फ्रेंस की हमेशा से हमारा ये रहा है लाए अमल और आगे भी यही रहेगा ओके